A is a 3 by 5 matrix. The null space of A is a subspace of Rn, where n is equal to what number? For a quick review, if A is an m by n matrix, then the null space of A is the set of all vectors x in Rn such that A times vector x equals the zero vector. The null space of A is a subspace of Rn, where n is a number of columns in matrix A. So going back to our example, because we are given a three by five matrix, there are five columns, the null space of A is a subspace of R5, and therefore n is equal to five. To better understand this, if we set up the equation A times vector x equals a zero vector, we know in multiplying matrices, the number of columns in the first matrix must equal the number of rows in the second matrix, which indicates that vector x as a matrix must be a five by one matrix because vector x has five components, the null space is a subspace of R5. Next, what is the largest the rank of A could be? The rank of A is equal to the dimension of the column space of A, which equals the number of pivot columns. So the largest the rank of A could be would be the most number of pivot columns we can have. Well, we do have five columns, but they all can't be pivot columns. For example, if we had pivots in row one, column one, row two, column two, and row three, column three, we could not have any more pivots. This gives us a maximum of one, two, three pivot columns. The largest the rank of A could be is three. Next, what is the smallest the rank of A could be? Well, this would be the least number of pivot columns that we can have. It is possible to have zero pivot columns, for example, if matrix A is a zero matrix. So the smallest the rank of A could be is zero. Before we talk about the next two questions that involve nullity, let's talk about the rank theorem. If A is an M by N matrix, then the rank of matrix A plus the nullity of matrix A must equal N, the number of columns of matrix A. The next question asks, what is the largest the nullity of A could be? Where the nullity of A is equal to the dimension of the null space of A, which equals the number of non-pivot columns. Well, the largest number of non-pivot columns will occur when we have the least number of pivot columns, which is equal to the rank of A. So when the rank of A is zero, zero plus the nullity of A must equal five the number of columns. The largest the nullity of A could be is five. This also indicates the number of non-pivot columns. If we have five non-pivot columns, again, matrix A would have to be the zero matrix. And the last question is, what is the smallest the nullity of A could be? which is asking what's the smallest number of non-pivot columns we can have. Well, this would occur when we have a maximum number of pivot columns, which is the largest the rank of A could be, which is three. So again, if we know the max number of pivot columns is three, again, let's say the pivots were here, here, and here, this leaves two columns that must be non-pivot columns, which indicates the smallest the nullity of A could be. The smallest the nullity of A could be is two. Again, notice how when we have the smallest nullity and the largest rank, three plus two is five, giving us the number of columns. I hope you found this helpful.